What's up guys, Tony CW here, we're on Cyber Simulator today for the latest update, version 2.114. Before we get into the video, I just want to say if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button, help me on my road to 10,000 subscribers. Please turn the post notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss out my future videos, live streams and pet giveaways in various games, including this one. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left. Okay guys, so in today's update, we are going to be checking out the new Thanksgiving update. As you can see in the background, we have the Thanksgiving boss uh, back in the game, being that uh, it is the Thanksgiving. So, just going to bring up the update log on the screen now. So you can see it says, latest update 145, uh, states that the Thanksgiving update is released. We've got a new egg and pets, which would be the Thanksgiving uh, egg and obviously that will be the Thanksgiving currency to buy the eggs. So we'll check that out in a second. And also guys, we've got a new aura in the crown shop. So we'll also check out that new aura, see where it uh, costs and what we get with that. Okay, so that's the only thing that's been updated in today's update. Uh, but I do believe we may get a couple more eggs added into the Thanksgiving update. Maybe next week and the week after leading up to the Christmas event. So we'll see how many um, eggs do actually get released in this update over the next couple of weeks. Okay guys, so as I said, we have got um, the new aura in the crown shop over there. So we'll go and check there in a second. We've not got no um, new sabers in the shop today as it's not stated. We do have the new egg over here. As I said, it's a Thanksgiving egg. So as you can see, here, the egg does cost 100 Thanksgiving turkey legs. And as you can see, we've got our standard uh, nine pets. Um, I'm not sure, oh, okay, took a little bit of time for it to actually load up, um, but we do actually have the double and the triple moon there, I thought the um, the display might have actually been messed up, being they didn't show that originally, it only showed the single moon, but uh, we do actually have uh, all the nine current pets in there, so we will obviously try and get all those nine pets during today's video, I do have to get some turkey legs, so we will actually go and uh, kill the boss in a second, but first of all, we're going to go over here and check out the new aura. So as you can see, the last aura that was released, guys, was the blue mystic, which is uh, the one that I've got equipped. And the new one is this one here. And this is called the white energy orb. And the white energy orb, we actually get given 39.5 times strength, 16.2 times shield health, 12.4 times coin uh, cell boost, and 8.6 times run speed. And this does cost 216.173 capital S coins. So as you can see, uh, it is actually double the amount of the Blue Mystic uh, in crown price. And you can see it goes up by 0.5 in the strength, 0.2 in shield health, um, 0.15 in coins, and 0.1 in run speed. So a slight increase, but all these increases that allow us to get more coins... Um, and obviously more strength per swing do actually help us in game to try and get all the best um, sabers and classes and DNAs in the game. So it's always best to update your auras. At the moment there's no new auras pet, uh, released for the pets. The last one was the pet ascendant that was quite a while back now. Hopefully we do get some new pet auras released soon. But the new one that we've got is the white energy orb so I'm just going to buy that now. So there you go, it's equipped, and as you can see, I've got a uh, like white uh, mystic aura going around my avatar now. Okay, so now I've got that aura on and equipped, we can obviously look at getting the um, best sell in the game at the moment, when I do obviously sell my strength. Um, I actually did sell my strength yesterday, unfortunately, before the update. Uh, not thinking that we may have had a new uh, class released so I have actually lost there on quite a, a lot of bit of coins but thankfully at the moment I am actually on max sabers and max class um, so myself I haven't missed out on anything hopefully you guys that are still uh, getting better classes and the sabers hopefully you haven't sold until you see this update and buy the new uh, aura to get that boost because that will actually help you out uh, immensely. Okay guys, so being that we have the Thanksgiving update, there's not any new um, island. So just to show you, the current island was the island 144 that we had last week. 
um, which was the one after we had the Halloween event. And now we've uh, got the Thanksgiving event started this week. And if I remember correctly, I think it usually runs for about two weeks. So potentially we may have another egg uh, next week. Then I think it goes back to normal and then leading up to the Christmas event. Um, you never know, they may actually have uh, three eggs in this Thanksgiving update or even four depending on how they want to actually um, carry on from Thanksgiving. And then that may actually lead up to the Christmas event as well. Um, but just for future reference, whatever eggs we do actually have down here guys, treat these as if they were island eggs. Because when these eggs do go and we get a new island added onto the game, the egg cost of um, that egg is going to be a lot more than what you would intentionally think. So the cost of the um, egg from island 144 um, is... 1.03 capital D um, and obviously this egg if it was an island egg would have been the 1.03 capital D and half of that added on top so if we get a couple of these eggs added on the ground floor over the next uh, couple of weeks then the egg cost will actually be a lot more than what you would think originally um, from island 144 to island 145 so just keep that in mind guys okay so as I said I am actually going to be going and killing um, the boss to um, get some turkey legs. Um, I did actually start attacking the boss and I thought I'd just actually stop and uh, get the video started just to show you the um, update is out and then I can carry on killing the boss. And then what I can do when I get enough turkey legs, I can obviously start hatching the egg here. Hopefully get all the nine pets from this egg uh, without running out of the turkey legs. I know the Halloween event was a bit of a nightmare for me. Um, the first egg that got released, I didn't actually get the trip moon pet till about two weeks after. So hopefully I don't have that issue with this egg. Um, but as I said, I am going to be looking at grinding um, enough turkey legs to hopefully open the uh, egg and get all nine pets in this video, guys. So all being well, we will see all nine pets during this video. Okay guys, so before we do that, I'm going to be doing some off-screen grinding while I get um, turkey legs. So as you can see, I've actually been uh, attacking the boss uh, just before the video started. So I'm going to carry on uh, attacking the boss while I do this off-screen. So I'll cut straight to the part of the video where I have quite a bit of uh, turkey legs, uh, fingers crossed. And then we can start looking at um, opening the egg and see what we can get from this week's egg. So I'll cut straight to that video now guys and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've uh, cut to the part of the video where I've uh, got quite a bit of uh, turkey legs. So as you can see I've got uh, 264,660 um, turkey legs. So rough about 2,640 eggs that I can actually hatch uh, from the new egg that's been released. So hopefully I do get all nine pets uh, within that amount of eggs that I can hatch fingers crossed anyway guys and all being well I can show you all nine pets from this new egg so what I'm gonna do guys I'm actually gonna do a speed lapse video while I'm hatching um, I didn't bother doing a speed lapse video while I was grinding because I thought it would be too much of uh, wasted time for me just uh, spending quite a few hours grinding the boss so that's why I've just uh, cut that part out and what I'll do, I'll just uh, do a speed ups video of me hatching so you see what I hatch. Hopefully get some decent evolutions from here. And then when I do get all nine pets from this new egg, um, I can slow it back down. We can check out the names the pet, of the pets, check out the stats, and we can equip the single, the double, and the triple moon pet from this week's egg, the uh, Thanksgiving egg, and see if we've got some new pets or if they're uh, carryover pets from other islands. And also see if we've got any pets in here from the previous Thanksgiving as well. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to do a speed last video now uh, while I'm hatching. And as I said, once I do get all nine pets, um, I will slow the video right down. And I'll just turn all those back on so I actually get all the pets in my inventory. So what I'll do guys, I'm going to do the video now and I'll be right back once I've managed to get all nine pets. Um, or until I've actually run out of turkey legs. Fingers crossed uh, it's the, the pets that I get and not running out of the turkey legs. But I'll be right back soon as I've uh, got those all run out.
Okay guys, so I've slowed the video down. As you can see, unfortunately, I've not managed to get the trip moon pet. Um, again, my look has been uh, not very good on this egg, just like the Halloween event. But hopefully I will get this in another video to show you uh, what the name of the pet is and what it looks like in a future video, fingers crossed. So we are going to be going through the other eight pets from this egg. So the first pet from this egg, guys, is this one here which is the Wizard of Turkey. This pet will give you 85,650 strength and coin boost and a crown boost of 3,405. Pet number two is the Gravy Combine. And this pet will give you 100,638.75 strength and coin boost, crown boost of 3,455. Next one is pet number three, and this is Timothy the Turkey Rider. And this pet will give you 118,250.53 strength and coin boost. And a crown boost of 3505 and this pet does look um, familiar to me from a previous um, update that we've had I'm not sure if it was last Thanksgiving or if it was um, a standard island one so I will try and look at that and let you know following that we do have pet number four the first four star pet and that is called the Thanksgiving hacker this pet will give 138,944.37 strength and coin boost and a crown boost of 3,555. Our second four star pet, which is pet number five, is the Thanksgiving Penguin. And this pet will give you 163,259.64 strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of 3,605. Pet number six, which is our five star pet, is the Turkey TV. And the Turkey TV will give you 191,830.08 strength and coins, and a crown boost of 3,655. And this pet looks familiar again. Uh, we have had a pet before called TV. Um, I'm not sure if it was um, the previous update for to, um, for the Thanksgiving. But when I do look into that, I will let you know. Um, but that pet does look very familiar. And hopefully it may just be from one of the islands. But as I said, it may be from the previous Thanksgiving as well. So those are the first six pets from uh, the New Egg Guys. Following that, we do have our first moon pet of the egg, which is this one here. This is called the Thanksgiving Cracked Code, and I can actually make some of these into golden. So this pet will give you a starting stat of 225,400.34 strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of 34,600. So not bad at all. Just uh, combine some of these and see uh, what we can get. And... I'm trying to actually not combine every one because I want to try and keep one um, separate just so I can actually uh, check the stats again. So just make sure I don't actually uh, combine all of them in one go. And can do some more. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so quite a few actually. Uh, yeah, quite a few. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly combine these and hopefully not one out. Okay. Still more to go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So uh, finally we've actually made enough. So I've still got a couple left to check the stats. So as I said, the stats here are for the starting pet when you do hatch it. When you do get into golden formation, it will go up to 338,100.51 strength and coin boost and a crown boost of 51,900. And I can actually make a shiny. So let's make one of them out of the way. And okay, I can make two. Okay, more than two. <laughs> okay, so uh, I've made three shinies. So we know what the golden one is. And I've got five shinies at the moment. So I've actually hatched two and made two. So when you do get to shiny evolution, guys, you will actually be taking these stats up to 450,800.68 strength and coin boost and a crown boost of 69,200. So not bad at all. Following that, we do have uh, the double moon pet. Oh, actually, before I do the double moon pet, I do actually have a rainbow uh, Thanksgiving crack code here. So when you do get the rainbow one, which looks like I've hatched it. You, you actually get five hundred and sixty-three thousand five hundred point eight three strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of eighty-six thousand five hundred crowns, and that's for a single moon pet. 
So when you get that to void, uh, that's going to be even better. And then when you actually get that to level 100, it's going to be double the stats. So it's going to have some pretty decent stats for a single moon pet. So not bad at all. And as I said, following that, we do have the double moon pet. Um, got enough here to make some goldens. Have I made any, have I had any others? Uh, yeah, I've got four, sorry, three goldens up there. So let's combine this one. And the stats for the Timothy, the Thanksgiving hacker, which is the double moon pet, guys, gives you a starting stats of 591,500 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 68,750. So not bad at all. And then when you do get it into golden formation, guys, that will actually go up to 887,250 point uh, uh, strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 103,125 crowns. So not bad at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one of these off and we are going to be equipping uh, the single and the double moon pet from this egg. So let's get the single one first. And it's just down here. So let's equip the single uh, Thanksgiving one. And as you can see, this is what the single uh, moon pet looks like, the Thanksgiving cracked code. So it is a, a carryover pet from um, the cracked island. Um, and obviously... It's been modified to go with the Thanksgiving theme where obviously the colours changed. And as you can see, it does look a pretty decent pet. Uh, with the, Obviously it's uh, little pixelated wings. Um, so I do actually like that. Pretty decent size for a single moon pet. So not bad at all. So take that off and we'll put the double on. And the double is just up here. Um, there it is. And the double moon pet guys. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we are. I didn't think it was going to uh, put on then. So this is what the double moon pet looks like. Uh, once again, this looks like it's carryover pet as well because these wings do actually look familiar. So, and again, they have modified it to the Thanksgiving theme. Um, but I believe it is a carryover pet as well, guys. But even though it's carryover pet, it still looks a pretty decent pet. So not bad at all. So hopefully you guys have uh, had a better look at hatching than me. Um, unfortunately, I've not been able to get uh, the Trip Moon pet as of yet, but I will obviously get some more turkey legs and try and get this uh, pet to show you in a future video. Um, as you can see, I've completely run out, unfortunately, and that was uh, hatching over 2,640 eggs, I think it was. So in 2,640 eggs, I never even got one Trip Moon pet. So I, I think we're going to need a lot, lot more. I've got a funny feeling we're probably going to need about at least half a million uh, turkey legs or more to possibly get this pet um, from the first heat comes out. Hopefully you guys have had better luck hatching that and you guys have actually got it within a couple of hundred. Uh, but unfortunately, seen my luck hasn't been very good today, so I can't show you that trip moon pet in this video. Uh, but as I said, I will try and show you in a future video. So before I do in the video, get there, guys. I do want to remind everyone what is in today's update. So in today's update, we have the new aura, which is the white energy orb. And as I said, it gives some uh, decent stats and it does cost 216.173 capital S crowns. So if you have got some strength to sell, don't sell it until you've actually brought the new auras and you will get obviously the sell boost. We haven't got no new sabers in the shop at the moment. We've got a new Thanksgiving egg with nine limited time pets for Thanksgiving. We've got the Thanksgiving boss over in the boss area to kill to get your turkey legs. And as usual, guys, we've got the turkey legs dotted around the map as well that you can just collect while you're waiting for the boss to respawn if you've uh, killed the boss. So that's everything in today's update, guys. So before I do in the video there, I just want to say once again, if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Help me on my road to 10,000 subscribers. Please turn the post notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future videos, live streams, and piggy rays in various games, including this one. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left. And if you enjoyed the video today, guys, knowing what's in today's update regarding the new aura, the new egg, and what pets are in the new egg, please smash that thumbs up button. See if we can get about a thousand likes or more in today's video. But for now, guys, that's it for this video, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe, guys.
and peace out. Yeah,